Okay. Hi, friends. So our woman that we woman that we are going to be studying for Women's History Month today is a woman that I absolutely love. I love this woman. I'm so inspired by her. I'm so happy that we often get to study her a lot throughout the years. And let's just keep continuing this legacy because this woman is amazing. And the woman for today is Miss Frida Kahlo. I'll share my screen and we can get started. All right. Passion is the bridge that takes you from pain to change. Frida Kahlo is a famous Mexican painter. She is famously known for her portraits, self-portraits, and works inspired by the nature and artifacts of Mexico. She began painting after being severely injured in a bus accident. Frida's paintings, her use of bold colors, and attention to Mexican and, and indigenous culture have earned her the title as one of the most famous painters in Mexican history. Frida is praised in women's history for her attention to how she depicted herself in her paintings, with the use of her heart, her mind, and outside the box of what was considered normal for women. Her signature unibrow and mustache bestowed on herself and her paintings teach us that we are free to be ourselves in any way we see fit. Have you ever felt the need to express yourself in a way that others didn't expect you to? That's how Frida felt at one point too. So, I know a lot of us are thinking a lot of different things, but let's keep on listening, even though it says let's keep talking about it. So let's check out this video below to learn a bit more about our painting friend, Frida. Hope you enjoy. Frida Kahlo was a Mexican artist who became famous for her self-portraits that were strongly influenced by her Mexican culture. Frida was born near Mexico City on July 6, 1907, and grew up with her parents and six sisters. At age six, Frida contracted a disease called polio, which damaged her right leg and meant she couldn't leave her bed for nine months. So instead of playing with her sisters, she spent most of her time alone. Despite her childhood love of drawing, Frida Kahlo didn't always want to be an artist. She wanted to become a doctor. But in 1925, she was in a terrible bus accident that meant she was unable to walk for three months and she began to paint from her hospital bed. Painting helped her pass the time and to express the pain that she was feeling. Frida wanted to know if she was talented enough to become a professional painter. So she approached artist Diego Rivera for an opinion on her work. The two artists eventually got married in 1929. They both continued to paint and became very successful artists. In 1931, Diego was asked to paint a mural in San Francisco. So Frida and Diego moved to America. They lived there for three years. Diego wanted to stay, but Frida was very homesick and unhappy. So they soon moved back to live in Mexico. Her unhappiness in her life in America can be seen in her paintings. Frida Kahlo is most famous for her many self-portraits. She used her art to express her emotions in various moments of her life and to reflect the lifelong pain she felt after her accident. She was very proud of her Mexican heritage, and this is also shown in her paintings, which feature bright colors, dramatic symbols, and traditional Mexican clothing. Frida Kahlo died in 1954 when she was 47 years old. She is remembered as a strong woman who used her art to overcome her circumstances and to accomplish great things despite her struggles, and she inspires artists to this day to express their emotions through their art. Friends, I genuinely hope you are inspired by Frida as much as I am. And I hope you really take the time to just delve into the art that is who you are. See you in a few seconds. Don't panic if you're stuck with your math homework. Don't panic if you're stuck just with your math homework, apparently. <laughs> Bye, friends.